The internet is buzzing with excitement for Google's launch of Gemini Ultra, and the reason for this excitement is not hard to see. The promises made by the company about the capabilities of this advanced AI have left many people in awe and disbelief. Some are calling it the biggest advancement in AI technology, surpassing the popular ChatGPT, while others see it as a total flop. But the question is, is Gemini Ultra truly the next big thing, or is it all just hype? The only way you can answer this question is if you watch this video till the end. The first thing you should know is that Google Bard has been discontinued. About a year after its initial launch in a hurried attempt to rival OpenAI's ChatGPT, Google has rebranded it as Gemini, aligning it with its family of foundational models. But the highlight and main reason for this video is the unveiling of Gemini Ultra, the most powerful large language model to date. Since the release of Gemini with its variations Gemini Pro and Gemini Nano, people have been fascinated by the idea of Gemini Ultra's arrival. This anticipation stems from a combination of curiosity, technological advancements, and the allure of innovation. The promise by Google that Gemini Ultra will push the boundaries of what is possible further intensified the anticipation. And now it is here. During the unveiling press conference, Google's Sissi Hassel emphasized the groundbreaking capabilities of Gemini Ultra 1.0, showcasing its superiority across various benchmarks in text, image, audio, and video processing. Don't worry, I will show you these benchmarks before the end of this video. Hassel highlighted that Gemini represents more than just a model. It signifies a fundamental shift in Google's approach to cutting-edge technology and the entire ecosystem it supports. This extends from products impacting billions of users to the APIs and platforms empowering developers and businesses to innovate. The Gemini Ultra 1.0 model showcases advanced capabilities, particularly in handling high complex tasks, such as coding, logical reasoning, complex instructions, and collaborating on creative projects. This enhanced version not only extends the range of interactions with users, but also exhibits a deeper understanding of contextual cues derived from previous interactions. This expanded functionality opens up a myriad of possibilities for real-life applications. Imagine you're a student struggling with a complex mathematical concept. Gemini Ultra can serve as your tutor, providing step-by-step -step instructions tailored to your learning style. It can break down the concept into digestible chunks, offer sample quizzes to reinforce understanding, and engage in back-and-forth discussions to clarify any confusion. For instance, if you're grappling with calculus, Gemini Ultra can walk you through derivative calculations, offering insights and practice problems along the way. In a professional setting, suppose you're a software developer facing a challenging coding problem. Gemini Ultra can act as your virtual collaborator, brainstorming ideas and evaluating different coding approaches. For example, if you're tasked with optimizing a database query, Gemini Ultra can suggest alternative algorithms, discuss the trade-offs involved, and even simulate the performance of different solutions. For digital creators seeking to enhance their content and engage with their audience more effectively, Gemini Ultra offers invaluable support. It can analyze recent trends in the industry, generate fresh content ideas, and brainstorm innovative ways to grow your audience. If you're a social media influencer, Gemini Ultra can suggest content themes based on current trends, propose strategies to increase user engagement, and even draft compelling captions or posts. In each of these scenarios, Gemini Ultra acts as a versatile assistant, leveraging its enhanced capabilities to provide tailored solutions and support across various domains. Whether it's education, software development, or content creation, Gemini Ultra demonstrates its ability to adapt to user needs, facilitate learning and creativity, and ultimately enhance productivity and effectiveness. Perhaps one of these interesting features of Google Gemini Ultra is the fact that it provides users with a versatile tool for generating content suited to their specific needs. With options like shorter, simple, longer, more casual, and more professional, users can seamlessly adapt their content to various contexts and audiences. Unlike Google Gemini Ultra, ChatGPT currently lacks this functionality, which could streamline the process of generating content and enhance user experience. The ability to request shorter or longer outputs allows users to control the depth and breadth of the generated content. Whether crafting a concise summary or delving into detailed explanations, users can customize the length to align with their requirements. 
This flexibility saves time and effort by providing tailored outputs without the need for extensive editing or refinement. Moreover, the option to adjust simplicity enables users to cater to different comprehension levels or preferences. By selecting a simpler output, users can ensure clarity and accessibility, making the content more understandable for a broader audience. Similarly, the ability to specify the casualness or professionalism of the output allows users to match the tone to the intended audience or purpose, whether aiming for a relaxed and informal style or a polished and professional demeanor. Users can seamlessly adapt the content to suit various communication contexts. This customization enhances the relevance and effectiveness of the generated content in engaging and resonating with the intended audience. And for speed, we also noticed something very interesting. While Gemini can answer questions in about 21 seconds, ChatGPT takes nearly 45 seconds for the same task. You can agree with me that this speed gap can be frustrating at times, especially when quick responses are needed. Gemini's speed advantage is due to its specialized design and dedicated hardware, allowing it to process and generate responses more rapidly. On the other hand, ChatGPT relies on cloud-based servers and may face bottlenecks due to network latency or server loads. This speed difference can impact user experience, particularly in time-sensitive situations or real-time conversations where immediate responses are crucial. Users may find themselves waiting longer for ChatGPT to provide answers, leading to frustration and impatience. The next striking feature that caught my attention is the image generation capability of Google Gemini Ultra. Gemini Ultra creates images that closely resemble real photographs, making it challenging to distinguish them from images captured by a human. On the other hand, images generated by ChatGPT often exhibit noticeable signs of being AI-generated. The difference lies in the complexity of the algorithms and training data used by each tool. Gemini Ultra employs advanced techniques in a vast dataset to understand and replicate intricate details, such as textures, lighting, and perspectives found in real images. In contrast, Trust, ChatGPT prioritizes generating images quickly, overachieving hyperrealism, resulting in more simplistic or stylized outputs. When scrutinizing images, subtle cues such as unusual textures or distortions give away ChatGPT's handiwork. For the promise I made, Google's Gemini Ultra outshines ChatGPT across a spectrum of academic benchmarks, showcasing its prowess in various domains. In terms of general understanding, Gemini Ultra dazzles with an astounding 90% in massive multitask language understanding, effortlessly grasping 57 subjects ranging from STEM to humanity. In comparison, ChatGPT falls slightly behind with an 86.4% five-shot capability in a similar benchmark. When it comes to reasoning abilities, Gemini Ultra impresses with an 83.6% score in the Big Bench Hard Benchmark. Displaying proficiency in multi-step reasoning tasks, GPT-4 trails closely with an 83.1% three-shot capability in a comparable context. In reading comprehension, Gemini Ultra shines with an 82.4 F1 score in the Drop Benchmark surpassing GPT-4's 80.9 three-shot capability in a similar scenario. Gemini Ultra further demonstrates its strength in common sense reasoning, achieving an 87.8% 10-shot capability in the Hellaswag benchmark, albeit slightly lower than GPT-4's 95.3% performance in the same test. When it comes to mathematical proficiency, Gemini Ultra excels with a 94.4% score in basic arithmetic manipulations, while GPT-4 maintains a 92% five-shot capability in grade school maths problems. Moreover, Gemini Ultra demonstrates its ability to tackle complex maths problems with a 53.2% four-shot capability, edging out GPT-4's 52.9% performance in a similar context. In code generation tasks, Gemini Ultra exhibits a commendable 74.4% capability in generating Python code, surpassing GPT-4's 67% performance in a similar benchmark. Additionally, Gemini Ultra shines in natural language to code, natural to code, achieving a 74.9% zero-shot capability, slightly edging out GPT-4's 73.9% performance in the same task. While both models, including ChatGPT, draw from diverse data sources, Gemini AI stands out for its versatility and power. With Gemini Ultra's superior performance across multiple benchmarks, it emerges as a formidable and adaptable tool for various applications, setting it apart from ChatGPT and other AI models in the field. 
I think it is also time to let you know that accessing Gemini Ultra will come with a price tag. Google is introducing it through a new $20 tier of Google One, offering a two month free trial alongside two terabytes of storage and other Google One perks. Additionally, Gemini will integrate with Google's workspace apps such as Docs, Slides, Sheets and Meet. Alongside this move, Google will phase out the Duet AI brand, previously limited to workspace AI features, and merge it into Gemini. That's not all. Google is launching a new Gemini app for Android and making it available on the Google app for iOS. On Android devices, users can now replace Google Assistant with Gemini. For developers seeking API access to the Ultra model, Google promises more information in the coming weeks. Gemini Advanced will initially be accessible in over 150 countries and territories, but only in English. Japanese and Korean language supports are next on the roadmap. So back to the question I asked at the beginning of this video. Do you think Gemini Ultra is truly the next big thing, or is it all just hype? Share your opinions in the comments section. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and also subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos.